and uh, Samir Ji made special request that I should read this poem. So here it goes. This is a love story between a rose and a vase. I love you, Rose. Give yourself to me. I'll be your vase. Together we shall be. The rose surrendered to the loving vase. Together they stood, withstanding the weather, love prevailed, and life was good. Every day the rose gifted delicate petals to her passion and protector. Every day the rose gifted delicate petals to her passion and protector. And the vase, nurtured with abundance, suddenly began to grow. Cutting into her stem, till blood covered her brow. What are you doing? You're killing me, cried out the frightened flower. I will not let you die, I adore you. And love has great power, said the vase, hugging the flower. But you know something, I do not like the wind that sings to your petals. And you lend it your ear, when on your delicate form it says. <coughs> I do not like the springs of a brain that rests on you like dewdrops. Why don't you curl up your petals and imitate lifeless rocks? I do not like your exquisite fragrance reaching another world. Why don't you hide it and emanate scent of common rocks? I do not like the morning sun that sets your beauty radiating. Embrace the darkness instead and stop deviating. Ah, I have an idea. I shall build a wall around you with my body and my blood. Then your petals would never fly off to become wings of a fire bird. Victim of jealousy, the vase began to lose his form. Driven by obsession to hide the flower that he chose, he got converted into a lifeless whole tomb that safely locked up the rose. And when the flower began to wilt, he cursed the rose instead. He did not spare a minute for a quiet funeral and blamed her for being dead. He abused her for not valuing his love, for leaving him behind alone. How could she do this to me? He moaned. Now I ask you, whom did she leave behind? The tomb or the vase that carried her once? Did the rose ask for her own death when she succumbed to her last breath? <laughs>